I pretty much couldn't be anything but an artist. Um, growing up in a household with natural history illustrators, um, I had a pencil in my hand since I was probably five or six. I enjoyed drawing. Uh, I probably can't do anything other than maybe writing uh, as well. So uh, there were really no choices for me. Hi, my name is Simon Lee. I am a concept designer and sculptor for Hollywood Films. I'm currently working with Zen Punk Collectibles on a character called the Kurian, based on the designs of world-renowned artist and creature design extraordinaire, Mr. Wayne Barlow. I started out uh, doing paperback covers, gravitated towards writing my own books and then illustrating those, which led to film concept art in Hollywood, which was certainly a kick. Um, this has then sp spread into doing uh, one six scale figures, which I'm very passionate about. I collect myself. Barlow's Hell is, I, I hope, uh, somewhat unique by comparison with historical uh, hells that have been written by, say, Milton or Dante. Those were written for audiences that were in some ways smaller than what we've got now. Uh, Milton wrote for an English audience, Dante for an Italian audience. Of course, as time went on, they spread and they've been translated into many languages, but the basic stories have been tailored to those initial audiences. My hell, hopefully, goes into multiculturalism. I have hell elements from Asia, from Europe, from Africa, from North America, all kind of put into a, a rather less theological hell than what Dante or Milton were dealing with. I first met Wayne back in early 2011. Uh, we were both working on Guillermo del Toro's movie Pacific Rim. Uh, we're both on the uh, concept design team working on the kaijus. But I became aware of Wayne's work many years before. I remember the first time um, seeing a copy of his book, A Brush Fire, in the bookstore. I was, I was immediately hooked. I was amazed by the, uh, the world building, the intricate design that, uh, and the unique vision uh, that he had you know, put in front of the readers. Um, it was both hellish and fantastic. Simon is a, not only a great guy, and I've worked with him uh, in the studio before, but he's probably one of the most gifted sculptors alive now. Um, I respect and admire his work, uh, his creativity, and his amazing sculpting talent. Um, I can't think of a better person to be involved in this, and I'm, I'm proud and honored that he is. What I love the most about Wayne's work is the, um, uh, the rich sense of culture that he's been able to instill into his characters and the world building. Uh, when, if you look past of the, um, um, the monsters and demonic appearance of these characters, um, if you look at the clothing, the weapons, the armor, the accessories, um, um, I mean, Wayne's attention to detail uh, when it comes to his designs is simply staggering. Um, uh, then you start to appreciate uh, these characters even more. I mean, they, uh, they have that, you know, because uh, not only have they gone through the physiological evolution, you know, that shaped their, their, their unique physical attributes, but they've also gone through the, uh, the evolution of the mind because they have their own unique culture. You know, there's this um, this common language that's tying all these characters together. They uh, they appear to be um, believable, even though it is a uh, it is a fantasy. Tom and the team have been amazing. They've managed to take the smallest detail in my drawings and render it faithfully and with love in three dimensions. Um, they've done a beautiful job. With Zen Punk Collectibles is a young company uh, made up of a group of young artists who are energetic and passionate about their work. 
in this case, they're trying to bring the uh, the unique vision of uh, Wayne Barlow's hell and and his characters uh, to the fans, uh, truthfully and respectfully. And I am honored uh, to be uh, part of this project as well. Love to see this hell line flourish and grow. There's an enormous amount of uh, richness in the characters. I can uh, see souls coming forth and de more demons. Um, and yes, down the line, it would be great to see perhaps fantasy characters or alien creatures, who knows?